Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nero, and this is Platinum League StarCraft Ladder. Terran versus Terran. Back in the day, we had other matchups. Zerg versus Protoss. Zerg versus Zerg. And Protoss versus Protoss. In TVZ, in TVP. But these days, it's Terran. Everybody's Terran. There hasn't been a single non-TVT in years, but this is a good TVT, so we're gonna check it out. Platinum level game. They're even at 15 supply and just starting out. What do you need as a Terran? You need a supply depot, you need a barracks. Definitely need a barracks. Both players have the same idea. It's a good idea to make a barracks. Getting gas, getting gas. Making SCVs. When do you stop making SCVs and why? You try so hard. You got pretty far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Because it's mainly about what you prove to yourself about your ability to improve. If you can prove to yourself that you can improve at something, it doesn't really matter how high you got. As long as you got somewhere, you proved that you could get better. If you're platinum, you proved that you could get better from bronze to silver and silver to gold and gold to platinum. And you have that with you for the rest of your life. That's why StarCraft Ladder is so rewarding. It's pretty big. It's a hard game. Getting plat's pretty far. There are lots of easy games out there. A lot of face roll games that just give you rewards and packs just for logging in. Not StarCraft. StarCraft doesn't give you shit for logging in. StarCraft cheeses the fuck out of you for queuing ladder. You get cheesed super hard. You just want a normal macro game. No, you don't. You get proxied right here next to your base. That's what happens. If you, if you go to ladder and you want to have a relaxing macro game, you will get proxy hatched and cannoned and proxy barracks and mass reaper in a row. You have to go out there knowing that everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And it's all about damage control, crisis management, and counterattacks. It's going to be scrappy. It's going to be messy. If you want a nice, clean game, play a turn-based game and read all the text on screen before you move on to the next turn. In StarCraft, there's no time. There's no time. You go from one scuffed second to the next. Look at this battle. Already this SCV has been bruised. Violence has been dealt from one side to the other. Marines are being made. Dude with gun, the classic Terran unit. Shoots high, shoots low. Doesn't have a lot of health, but they can do stuff. Just judging by the worker count here, I would guess that red is ahead. Samitheth has a bunker though. This is a very secure base. Notice the difference here. One dude with gun, four dude with gun in a house. That's better. Ah, but five dude with gun versus four dude with gun in a house. Which do you think is better now? I would still give the edge to the four dudes in a house because the house has 400 health and it has plus one bonus to the ranged units inside. So these Marines can now shoot further since they're in the house. But there are more dudes with gun over here. So their DPS total is higher. Assuming they're all in range. Okay, now there are four more dudes with gun. Alright, this this game is getting crazy. Couple more bears being made in the main. There's a factory. And a starport with the reactor. Which can now make two liberators at once. That's going to really hassle our opponent. Put them on the spot and force them to respond to something. All right, siege tank is coming up here, but we are supply blocked as fuck. It's gonna take a minute. Let's just take a moment and remember all the times that we got supply blocked. Okay, it's fixed. It happens to me even to this day. So don't feel bad. There are a lot of things that can distract us from making supply. And this frustration is a shared experience across the StarCraft scene. Zerg, Terran, and Protoss, we all have that. 
that we can experience together, find common ground, just how hard it is to remember to make supply structures. Okay, Sammy Thith has some marine and tank and medivac. There is one tank. Salvage this, get some money back. Another tank is on the way here, and another medivac. Oh, is the medivac gonna boost this other tank? Hey, wait. Wait. Oh, two liberators at the same time. This is like an anime whenever the two samurai are about to slash at each other, but it's liberators and dude with gun and tank. Okay, here they go. Here they go. There's no anti-air defense here. There are no Marines in the base either. There's no engineering bay or missile turrets. Whoa. Okay, the tanks are getting set up here. The Liberators go in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 13 kills. But this is good for Sammy Thith. You're applying heavy pressure to the opponent by being directly outside their base. That's good. Oh, nice shot. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow, he is dead. Damn. Now two tanks of fire. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, get, wow. Stay away from that area. That area is not safe. It is not safe at this base. Get out of here, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Wow. Unsafe working conditions. How was your day at work? Oh, uh, it was kind of tough. Oh, really? What happened? I got shot by a tank. You got shot by a tank? Yeah. That's why I went back to the main. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Maybe we need to take a hidden base. Yeah. Okay, there is a liberator on the high ground. The liberators here did quite a bit. Sammy Thith is down to 15 workers from those liberator kills. Okay, this liberator has nine kills. It's coming back home to try and help defend this. This is the kind of game where I don't even know who's ahead. The two Terrans are both in what seem like equally bad situations, but yeah, who dies? It's just awkward. I feel like you really have to be good with Legos to be a good Terran player. Man, it sucks to lose those tanks. Wow. Oh, but the stim in the cycle and take out one of the Liberators. Got something for it at least. Tanks getting set up here. There is one Liberator for the high ground. Can the Cyclone see this? Oh, there's a Viking here now. Okay, the Viking getting good damage on this Liberator. Dude with gun. Oh, gets shot in the face. This refinery is taken out and the supply depot as well. Oof, that's a lot of damage on that supply depot. Damn. Wow, that supply depot is not going to hold up much longer. Yeah, it's dead. Well, as much as the supply depot can die. I don't think it's a living. It's more of a structure. That one is also having a tough time. It's still hanging in there, though. Okay, now it's gone. Oh, man. They can even shoot this one with the Viking vision? Damn. Look at the range on this guy. I've once heard that before they nerfed the tank's range in Siege Mode, you used to be able to shoot people in the StarCraft game next to yours. Not even on the same map, but like the map over across the edge over here. People were like getting shot from other people's games. It was crazy. Okay, they're going to try to go out and break this contain. The tanks have been taken out, but Samitheth is still holding an aggressive stance. And the bases are kind of getting back to business here. A lot of the SCVs are returned to work. Production is resumed in the main. Third base is getting some gas. Because really, one of the main traditions for playing Bioterran is to just float 2,000 gas. It's like a salute they do to each other. Focus really hard on the mid-game. Take a whole bunch of Vespine from your bases and then just float 2,000. So we'll see what that gas ends up being here. Could end up panning out. I don't know how strong mules are. The Terran experts would know better than me. I like this. Just a, a bit of gas from each of these. 
Just one SCV of gas. Not getting, yeah, wow. One each. It's so even. This space we have a little bit more. Okay, well, Red is able to expand out now. You got Marine, you got Marauder. Liberator tank, chillin'. This heli in here. Shot this poor man. It's one of the more painful ways to die, I think, in this game, is to be killed by an alien. Oh boy, Sammy Theft. Bringing that drop pressure. Takes out the missile turret tank in the back here. Hurts a bunch of these Marines, but six of them? No, five of them get out. Five Marines do escape. There are more Marines at home, and there's a tank as well. All right, plus one. Being researched on the entering bay. This has been such an aggressive game. People's upgrades are super behind. Okay, so red has 1-1. One, one, and Samuthith has 0-0. Zero, zero. So, it's been a pretty scuffed game. But overall, things are kind of settling down. Both players have three bases. We got 40 to 50 workers. We're chilling with some mixture of bio tank and air units. And this is the point where people kind of settle down and just agree, all right, we've been punching each other a bunch in the early game. Let's just like ramp up for the mid game and not fuss with each other for a minute. So they're both chilling, not really focusing on harass. We just want to agree to macro up. So appreciate those moments when players just say, you know what, stop attacking me. I'll stop attacking you. Let's build sensor towers together. That sounds fun. Marines running in here to the natural. Getting a decent bit of damage. Let's check the workers killed so far for this game. Looks like Goog has killed 23. And Samithith has killed 7 workers. Supply is very even now. 45 workers to 59. Sensor tower is nearly done. This third base. Tanks defending the high ground. We're stabilized. We're relaxing. We're macroing. Some credits to spend. The gas float. The 2000 gas float. Will we make it happen? It's my prayer. I love to say it. It's so funny. 2000 gas. Can we make it? Which Terran player will do it? That's what I'm curious about. Have you had enough water today? Drink water. It's good. 138 supply to 132. We are chilling and macroing. Just scoot ahead at 2x. Big chilling, big chilling. I'm guessing both players are thinking like, I don't really want to push until I'm maxed now. Oh no, Sammy that is going. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, let's just check, make sure everyone's, like, safety is off. All right, let's see, just tank here. Just nice and easy. I like the setting up outside the sensor tower. It's smart. Betty smart. Tanks are trying to find a good spot. Marine's going in. Ah, I think red has too much here. This is too far from the tanks. Falling back to the tanks now. There's a battle cruiser? Okay. The bio's trying to hold the line. But this is simply too much. All oh, the tanks on the low ground. We're going home. Oh, we're going home. Okay. Let's go him. Oh, we got there. Yes. 2,000 gas float. One of my favorite moments in StarCraft 2. I don't know what the unit is for TVT that you spam to spend gas. What is it? Ghost? Do you make ghosts in TVT? Hmm. Do you make... I guess more tanks. You can go double factory. You can afford tanks. Oh, there we go. Extra factory. <clears throat> More upgrades. There's another command center being sent out here. The battlecruiser teleports. But to where? 
Units temp. Oh, the harass. Oh no, the two Vikings. Yamato's one of them. Oh no. No. Ah. Ah. Aya. <laughs> That's why you don't eat the fleet. X. I'm dead. Rip. All right, well, we had a battle cruiser. Now we'll just make a triple starport tech lab. Won't tell anyone. Battle cruiser cooking up. Let's go. We can spend gas with BCs. BCs cost 300 gas each. <gasps> oh my god. SCVs running around. Turn around. People tell you that base can't send minerals to. Turn around. Why do we go over there? Is it the Liberator? This area is not safe. If you're an SCV, it's not safe. NSF SCV. This area. <laughs> Very not safe. Should we make like a photo album of not safe for work images, but it's actually just bases that have a ton of mines in them. <laughs> this base is not safe for work because it has four widow mines and two liberator zones on top of it. This base is not safe for work because it has six lurkers right here. Okay, that makes sense. Is this area safe for work? No, there are swarm host locusts flying over here right now. Okay. This is a platinum level game. Very slow crawl of setup in the middle. I see so little TVT because I only play Zerg. And if there's pro TVT on, I usually just skip it. I'm just like, I'll just, I'll wait until there's a Zerg. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is not the area to go down. Oh my gosh. This map for TVT. I'm glad I play Zerg. Man. My heart goes out to these young Marines. This Liberator has nine health. It's not a man or mule, it's to repair. Calm down, chat. Calm down. I know you're like, PM! No. It's to repair. It's to repair. When you call down like this. Hang on, there's an attack here. It's to repair. Repair? They just land in the world and they're like, Hello, I'm a robot. And the tank pilot is like, Hey! And they're like, Hello, I'm a robot. Hey! What are you supposed to do? <laughs> the tanks are all full HP. The mule can't help the tanks. BC's focusing down units. Red's army here simply doesn't have any anti-air. It's just marauders. They can't be BC's. These hellbats can't be BC's. Aim up. Aim up, bro. Get the medivac to fly above the BC, have the hellbat drop on top of it. These mules, what a waste. Sedge. The robots that were called down, the 200 gas float, or uh, 2,000 gas. Love to see it. These BCs are just owning now. What can they do, to be honest? They can't do shit. Hang on, these were not BM. They're mining this base. Those other ones, they were not BM because I think they intended to repair, but then they were distracted and forgot. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. 
I don't think those are BM. We'll say those were well-mannered mules. Dropped with the best of intentions. Hmm. Marines take out a Liberator here. Sammy Theth is running away with this game. The BC count is eight. And there are 16 Marines and four tanks. Just trying to make units in multiples of four if possible. We're trying to get up to four Vikings here. It's very important for this build. Oh, it's nine BCs. That's an odd number. Now we have to make three more. Three more to get to another multiple of four. Oh, the Amato's just dusting these tanks. They are running. They're like, that is a fleet of battleships and we are simply men with guns. Run. Okay, there's a Thor. We're fine. We're fine. Repair the Thor. He'll kill all of them. Oh, no. Oh, the SCVs showed up too late. The BCs are pushing through here. Ah. This is absolutely a tough position. There is a Viking, though. If they micro this, they could kill one of them. What? Okay. Oh, it has two health. GG is called and that's it. Sammy Theth takes it in an absolute scrap of the TVT. Well played. Gotta keep jump on cooldown. Don't think that's how that works, but it was very cinematic.